I'm Patrick Bailey with IQS.com. Today is March 4th, 2018. And I just have to show you this bunk bed I printed out on my 3D printer today. Well, overnight. It's just, it's just kind of cracking me up what it looks like right now. So uh, with that, let me show you what's going on. So my, okay, so my daughter came to me with an order the other day to get a bunk bed. And so we've been printing a bunch of stuff off now that I fixed my printer um, on this Prusa. MK3, i3 printer, i3, MK3. Anyway, the Prusa printer, and uh, she wanted this. So I thought this might be a good chance, because I'm still new to printing, to see what could happen if I print it out with, um, if you see this bunk bed, you can do it in parts, but I thought, I don't want to glue this together. Um, as an experiment, let me see if I can print the whole thing out. So here it is on the Thingiverse. So here's the URL for it, which I'll put in the show notes. And I thought, well, let me download this and print it out with um, supports everywhere to see what it's going to look like and see if it'll, if it'll work. I've never done supports everywhere on something because I'm still pretty new. Uh, and over here, here it is on the slicer. And so I brought this model in. I bumped it up. Let me go back. I bumped it up to 150% of the side. That's what she wanted. And I had to put supports everywhere, which means supports will be from the bottom and also in between, which is what they're going to need to be on this bunk bed. Otherwise, this would be all sag, and I don't think it can make... I'm still new to 3D printing, but I think there's no way it's going to make that giant length very easily, and especially, you know, this ladder. Um, so I'll show you here in a second. It just turned into a big, giant block, and I'm not sure if I can actually cut it out. I've never... I, I've done stuff with supports. And I've been able to break it off a little bit, but this thing is just a giant chunk of plastic right now it looks it's just cracking me up okay so here is this giant <laughs> block and so it took about 18 hours and 57 minutes to run and you can see all these supports but i i i practically can't see the bunk bed inside of it so <laughs> to me it just looks like a hilarious it looked like a bad idea i, I but i've never maybe it might just pop right off i don't know so um I'm going to go try to see if I can use some X-Acto knives and get this uh, creation done. Here, Kendall, what do you think? This is your bunk bed. What do you think? How does it look right now? Um, it looks ugly. It looks ugly? It looks ugly. <laughs> like, a lot of ugly. A lot of ugly? It's a square block with a ladder. A giant square block with a ladder. That basically is what it is. <laughs> Well, I'll go take this apart, and I'll probably try to record me pulling all the stuff out, and we'll see We'll see how well it goes. <laughs> but right now it's cracking me up because I don't think it's going to go very well. No. I think I'm going to break it. That's fine. We can make another one. We can make another one, but I think it might be a different one. If, I don't, I don't, we'll see. Okay, anyway, let's go take this thing apart.
Okay, well that took a while, but um, I didn't break it. <laughs> Actually, I got it together, so it's uh, it's not perfect. There's still some little flaws here and there, but I actually got it apart. And I got a giant pile of pink stuff, don't I? So, what do you think, my daughter? You love it? It doesn't look ugly anymore? Okay. Does it fit your LOL doll now? Bam. Oh, look, I'm climbing the stairs. <laughs> All right. Don't. Well. I wouldn't say I wouldn't do it again, but if I do it again, I know it's going to take some long time to rip all that stuff out, so... Hey, uh, the inner support structure worked pretty good. This is my first time doing something with that much secondary and, you know, several different supports. Supports everywhere. Um, it was a pain, but it worked. Okay. Now she can go to bed. Hey, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.